Welcome to a Fallout New Vegas video. This is about factions, and if you're just starting the game, uh, you might want to know a little bit about factions. If you've already played the game, you probably know this stuff. But anyway, I have a viewer named the Ant Ill, or I, that's the way I pronounce it, T H E A N T I L number seven. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, we're looking, at, and he said, uh, you know, I'm just starting this game. How about give me a video about the factions because I don't want to make the wrong choices. Well, this game is all about choices, and that's one of the reasons I love it. And you can replay it over and over and over again, which is pretty obvious. So I don't want to give you any spoilers, but I'm going to give you some uh, ideas. Um, things that I realized later that are really helpful now that I do subsequent walkthroughs. Right. So, for instance, um, number one, Good Springs. Right. So let's pull up the map here. You start in Good Springs. We should probably just go there. Devil's Gullet. Good Springs. I'm like there. All right. So Good Springs is a faction. Uh, I didn't realize that at first. I mean, I knew that I was helping the town of Good Springs uh, at first. But, um, yeah, when you walk in here and you talk to Trudy, if she still survived the fight, I guess she's probably asleep now. Uh, but you, you walk in here and talk to Trudy, uh, she tells you, uh, you know, that there's, you, you actually see an argument between her and the powder gangers. So you have to decide immediately, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to help the town of Good Springs? Talk to Sunny? You know, you know I'm well liked here, so like, I can come and go as I please. And um, yeah, it's... It's definitely a faction. It's not one of the big factions that's going to like affect the entire game, but at the end of the game, if this is your first playthrough, what will happen is you will get a bunch of uh, prompts. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll get a story, basically a summary of the things that you did and how they, your actions affected the uh, entire Mojave region. And it'll say, Good Springs is a thriving town, or Good Springs is now under Legion control, or Good Springs is, was overrun by powder gangers, or whatever it happens to be. So that brings me to point number two uh, of the five things you need to know that they don't tell you right off the bat, and that is that powder gangers are a faction. So when you end up uh, playing around with the powder gangers, at the beginning, see here I'm vilified at this camp here, so... Let's go and see if they'll shoot me. Um, powder gangers, they don't like me because I helped uh, good spots. And um, as you can see, they're angry at me. So you get to choose whether or not you uh, have a good reputation with these guys or if they just keep throwing dynamite at you every time you see them, right? So here's the thing with good springs and the uh, fight with the powder gangers. If you wanted to, you could just leave Good Springs, go over to the uh, the prison uh, where the Powder Gangers are, and uh, you could do a whole bunch of quests for the Powder Gangers first. If you just want to like max out your experience, uh, you could do that, and then you could come back later and help Good Springs with fight if you wanted to, or you could help the the Powder Gangers right off the bat and just let them take over Good Springs. Um, Chet will still be there to like uh, trade with you, but like I don't want to ruin too much for you. But um, the Power Gangers have a bunch of quests, and I never knew that until probably my seventh or eighth playthrough that these guys actually um, have their whole their own little quest line, and you can uh, you can do those quests. All right, uh, number three, uh, the big guys are right Caesar's Legion. And the NCR, right? So that's the big fight. Right? So these guys, you can talk to Caesar's Legion uh, as long as you didn't like just. Um, this is your last. Very well. This is, um, you know, you can get to a point basically uh, in the uh, factions, right? Where like the Caesar's Legion will. Um, tolerate you and so will the ncr but they don't like the fact that you're working for one or the other they're diametrically opposed so what you could do is just kind of ignore the ncr and the legion as long as possible 
and do a bunch of other quests before you actually have to make a decision between the two. Because at some point, there's a tip, uh, tipping point where there's a point of no return. If you do a certain quest for Caesar's Legion, it's going to alienate the NCR forever. And if you do a certain quest for Caesar, uh, NCR, it's going to alienate the Legion. So the, the game gives you several warnings of that before it happens. So, you know, you have an opportunity to turn back, basically. All right, so that's the big fight. So um, let's, what are the differences, right? So here's the NCR, right? New California Republic. They're basically styling themselves. This is number four, by the way, number four thing you need to know. The NCR is styling themselves after the United States. Um, they've got, you know, what they call president. Uh, they're trying to do a form of representative government. And um, basically, uh, pay your taxes and we'll defend you is basically like the, uh, the credo. So that's the joke that goes around the Internet, the meme, pay your taxes, right? So uh, NCR is the epitome of, you know, you pay your taxes and you get protection as much as possible. I mean, they're realistic, right? They're fighting a war with Caesar and he has certain areas and uh, the lead in, and uh, the NCR has another. So and number five, uh, we we could talk a little bit more about. Um, let's go back to that camp. The fort. So Caesar's Legion is number five. So what you need to know about Caesar's Legion is these guys are really like jerks. <laughs> You're made to um, to kind of um, understand that. Like at the very beginning, these guys are crucifying people, right? Um, you, when you meet, uh, when you go to Nelson, um, there's a whole bunch of terrible things going on there. Uh, and you're, and, and, and it's true, like they're not just painted in a bad light, they really are uh, really bad, evil people, right? But, uh, you know, they don't like women, uh, they uh, have slaves, uh, they um, are all about brute force, but they have a whole long quest line, which is very interesting. Now, I personally wouldn't do it on the first playthrough, and most people don't. I think most people do the NCR playthrough. But um, it's definitely worth looking at, and if you want to do an evil playthrough, you can uh, do a, a, a totally evil playthrough, but you're going to alienate a lot of the other smaller factions which exist. And it would take a much longer video to talk about all the factions. And I don't want to put spoilers in here for you. Too many, because you're a beginner. But what I do think is, you know, it's worth kind of like getting into the idea of the moral ambiguity between, you know, what Caesar's trying to do and how he does it and what the NCR is trying to do and how they do it as well. So there's nobody that's really squeaky clean. But I guess if you're going to do a good, pl if you had to do it in terms of like Dungeons and Dragons, which I, if you see my channel, I do a lot of Dungeons and Dragons videos. I would say that of the four factions we talked about, like Good Springs is like neutral good, right? Like they don't want to mess with anybody, but they're pretty, they're basically just good people. The Powder Gangers are basically like um, neutral to chaotic evil. Like they, they're just, they're bad people like they'll take what you have uh because you know they're abusing you they've been abused and now they're escaped you know convicts and uh they don't have any love for the ncr or anybody else and, and they'll just take what they can so they're really like evil but they're less they're a lesser evil i think than Le than caesar's legion which is highly organized they're more like caesar's legion is more like a lawful evil right so they're more like they have their own system of codes that they want to, to institute and put in place. But um, it's not everybody's going to benefit under that. In fact, the fewest people are probably going to benefit under that, just the people that are at the top. And NCR, I would say, is lawful good, right? Because they follow, their soldiers follow orders. They don't go in and loot the towns. When you finally get to Vegas, you'll see that they go to Vegas and they pay for what they, you know, what they uh, imbibe and and when they gamble and that sort of stuff 
so, you know, they're basically law-abiding citizens. So I hope that gives you a kind of a breakdown. Uh, if this were helpful at all, let me know. And if it weren't, let me know that too, because I can always do another video, a uh, shorter video, hopefully. This went like way longer than I thought it was going to. Um, but anyway, if it helped you, let me know. And smash and like helps me, of course. Subscriptions are always welcome if you want to see more. And yeah, I've played this game a lot. So don't be surprised if I know something that you need to know. Because, like I said, this is a great game. And I've played it over and over and over again. So, good luck out there. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, traveling the Mojave makes you almost wish for a nuclear winter.